Hi there. Yeah, that's just like it says, hi there. Do you hear? And then I got another flagrant phone hack for you. Today we've got the Motorola E6. Yeah, that's right, the Motorola E6. I, I want to say it was squared, but it's, I don't think they put a little squared thing up there. Anyways, and you know, for the whole uh, haters out there that think I'm a fraud or whatever, remember, connect to your Wi-Fi. Always remember to connect your Wi-Fi first, but just to show you, you know, she's she's locked up tighter than a, she's locked up tighter than a Pentecostal nun on a Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't want to copy. And then it's going to ask me for a passcode. I don't know the passcode. Because I bought it from some whore downtown. And she scrammed and she scrammed me. Yeah, she scrammed me. She scammed me. She scrammed me. I can't believe I said that. She scammed me. So yep, there you go. Verify cup. But don't no, have no fear. Uncle D unit's got a solution here for you. So back her all the way out. Okay. Whoops. Didn't mean to hit that too too quickly. And we're gonna change the language. We're gonna speak some I don't know, some whatever this one is. All go to all the way to the bottom. And select that one. Okay. And then you, <clears throat> excuse me, and then you select the first one. Oh, I don't speak that language. Okay, whatever. So now we're going to tap the, the little phone, which is the emergency. we got emergency here. So the FRP are unlocked. Okay. And we take this one, hit it once, and hit it twice. Okay. And then we take the pencil, and we take the first one, and the first one again. And we tap that to bring up the keyboard, and press and hold that. Okay. And then we hit the little green thing down here. Okay. And then we hit the green thing down here. And let's take the first one. And then the green thing down here. Okay. We're good on that. Now back it all the way out. Whoop. There we go. Oh. Now let's go back to speaking English or Espanol or whatever language you prefer to speak in. I prefer to speak in English. So. Then we go back to emergency again because we got another emergency. And then tap it once and tap it twice. And then hit it again. Okay, and then edit information, hit name, and bring it up again. Kind of sound the same thing, you know. Now we got that Jap key, or I shouldn't say Jap, that's racist. Not, I'm sorry. I do apologize for that. Now we got this keyboard right here, the, the globe, press and hold the globe, and let's change it back to alphabet QWERTY. Okay, good. Now well, that's good. Now, press and hold it again, and hit language settings. Okay, and then hit that. Whoops, I'm sorry, not that. Let's add a keyboard again, all right? Now we get the list here. Now the thing you want to look for is one of these little doohickeys down here, the little, the arrows, press that one, okay? And then hit the three dots up there and help and feedback. Hey, look at that. Now sometimes, now I notice this, is, you know, I tend to try to test this out before I make a video, but sometimes it will it'll pop up and then it'll go away right away. If that happens, just keep doing it. It might take three, four, five, six, seven times. Seriously, it might, but don't get frustrated with it. It might, it might go away, bring it back to that. If that happens, just go ahead and hit help and feedback again until eventually it stays up. It will stay up. What it's doing is just has to download it. That's all. That's the, that there's no problem with it. It's just downloading it. Sometimes your internet connection may be slow. That's all. That's the only problem. So anyways, I think you know the rest of this if you've seen any of my other videos. Maybe if you don't, I'm gonna show you anyways. About switch axis, sorry I got ahead of myself there. <laughs> About switch axis, you know. Then hit play and then hit the three little dots. Share, three little dots right there. And we're into YouTube, do you. No thanks, I don't wanna try YouTube television free. Okay, let's hit that little down arrow right there and hit that link for the support, whatever. So we open up Google Chrome, uncheck that, accept and continue, and no thanks, don't sign in. Look at that. Now, now we're getting to the good part here. FRP, you know the link. FRP dot flagrant, F L A G R A N T, beats B E A T S, whoops, B E A T S dot com. Okay, and that's my website. If you don't know, that's where we're going. This is my website. This is my Google driver here for all of my Vagrant phone apps. And we want to hit the Moto E6 folder. And let's start downloading all. We're going to need all three of these files. So let's start downloading them. Continue. And allow. Yep. You know it's not going to harm your device. It's going to fix your device. Okay, number two. 
Come on. Come on, you slow punk. Sometimes it leaves a little coaxing, you know. Bum 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 bum. Oh, I don't want that one. Oh, there we go. Yeah. She just. Yep, she just took a minute, so. Okay. And then we download the third one. There we go. Awesome. Okay, now that we got all of our files downloaded, whoop, go up here and hit downloads. Now, the first thing you want to run is um, you want to run the Apex Launcher. Settings. Yep, and install unknown sources. Install. Insane in the do frame. <laughs> installing, installing. I'm installing. Well, I'm waiting for a minute to take a little drink of my Slurpee here. <clears throat> well, excuse me. Okay, and let's open that up. Now, while and in testing this, um, yeah, you want to go, you know, follow through that. But, and every time I've done this so far, and I think I've done this about four or five times. When I get to, after I get, to, when I get to the home screen, it likes to back it out all the way. Okay, home screen. And I try to catch it so it, damn ads. Catch it so it don't, there. Oh, nope, see, I missed it. But that's okay. All we do is just hit inform, er, emergency again, pencil, edit, name. You know, we did this already. Press and hold the globe. Language settings. I'm glad it did that because, you know, that could, that could definitely uh, fuck people up. Not, sorry. Um, yeah, add keyboard. And find the one with the little clicker thingy. And three dots. Help and feedback. About snitch access. Whoops. Come back. <laughs> and share. And the three dots again. Was that a little fast? I'm sorry. But... You can back it up to, you know, we have rewind on this thing. We have the technology now. Okay, and then, you know, it's kind of already are still open. So hit that link. So we have an up Chrome. Good. Then downloads. And then Apex. You know, and I wish they would figure that out. You know, I've already installed that. Why do I have to reinstall that again? Why can't they just make a check there? So then the in install would open and it would say reinstall and then or open app if it's already been installed. You know, it wouldn't be that hard. And I'm a programmer. I know how that shit works. So anyways, now open it again. It won't do it. So just sometimes that one time it's happened to me every time. But, you know, and don't hit that try. Hit the X on that. Okay, now, now that we're at the home screen, hit the three little dots there in the bottom, bring up the drawer or whatever the fuck it's called, hit files. We open up our files, continue, downloads. All right, now you gotta do this in order, so pay attention. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna install the Android 6 game hard reset thing, okay? And then hit settings, and allow from the source, back it up, and install. That's the Google account. Matter of fact, Google account managers. Okay, and then hit done. And then hit FRP bypass. And install. Okay, and then hit open. Okay, now instead of typing a password, you hit the three little dots up here. And hit browser sign on. Okay, and then hit okay. Okay, and then you want to sign into your respectable account. You know, don't sign into mine, even though I'm typing my shit in here. G-R-A-M-T-P-H, whoops, E-H-O-N-E-Z-Z-Z. -E and then type in your password. E-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-
dot com slash find. I got it right here. It might not show up for you, but it's android.com slash find. Okay. And then we have to sign it again. I'll type this again. I'm trying to be really careful because my phone is, or my iPhone that's recording this video, um, is being set on something that's not very secure. And this is like the fifth time I'm shooting this video only because the phone keeps falling down. So I'm trying to be very careful about that. And hopefully that doesn't happen. Otherwise, then I'll have to do it a sixth time. Dinner, 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 dinner. Okay. Okay. Now, once you get that, uh, um, you can find my device. Well, we can hit save that because we're gonna have to type that in one more time, and I don't want to do it. You can download find my. No, we don't want that. We don't want to download that. So now, once you're in find my device, you want to hit set up secure and erase. Okay, and then wait for that black thing to go away there. Secure device, okay? And set a passcode. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now remember that. Don't forget. One, two, three, four. I'm going to ask you, there's going to be a quiz here in a little bit. Okay? One, two, three, four. So now, lower the keyboard and then hit next. Next. There we go. Set password and secure device. Okay, good. Now it locked my device. It's not the device. Come on now. Why is it turning on? There we go. It's still in the frame here. Okay, good. All right. Whoop. One, two, three, four. Because now passcode lock it. Okay. Now, then the next one, as soon as that black notification thing goes away. Come on. There. Erase device. And erase device. Now, trust me, don't go into settings and hit erase device that way because it will not work. You have to do it this way. So, then sign in again. Whoops. <laughs> Hope that didn't change that, but anyway. No. no, good. Okay, once you get signed in. Permanently erase Motorola E6. Yes, please do. Okay, and now, she's gonna wipe her clean. And then, Sorry about that, Shiny Jim. I knew you jumped to wet the whistle. Ooh, that's a little bright, I see. Hopefully, it won't see that. Wait, if we can still see it. Let me. Ooh, that's really bright. Uh, let's see if I can adjust that here. Boom. Come on now. Adjust the brightness. Turn down, there we go. I had to turn it down manually. It didn't want to do it for me. <sighs> Damn technology nowadays. And we shouldn't wait. I'm glad these Motorola things don't take all that long to do this. So, unlike some phones, you know. Hello, Moto. Okay, and I think I can probably turn the brightness back up here. Jeopardy theme. Bum, bum, bum. Come on now. Any day now, track phone. A service of track phone. We like to fuck you. <laughs> almost there. We're almost there, kids. We're almost done. There we go. Go so, hi there. Hit start. Hit skip if you don't have a SIM card in and ask you to connect the mobile, mobile network thing. Now connect to the Wi-Fi, and as soon as it finds mine here, come on! Oh, oh there I had it. Okay, and then type your Wi-Fi password if you have one, and if you don't have one, you really should have one, because if you don't, there's chances that there's probably somebody stealing your Wi-Fi. Uh, uh, Okay. Connecting, authenticating, obtaining. Here we go. Okay. Now, now. 
The next thing it's going to say is, it's going to say, please verify your account or enter a passcode. And you're like, what the hell, Swan? You're a fraud. No, I'm not a fraud. Because, as you'll see in a moment, the rest of the story. No. But you'll see in a moment, it will say that. But it is your login information that you used just a minute ago to wipe this device. So either you're going to, and this is all, this has also been a hit or miss too for me. It sometimes will ask, hey, do you want to use the passcode to unlock it? If it does, use the passcode 1234 that we entered. And if it doesn't, well, then use your login that you used. Mine was flagrant phones, you know. I hope you didn't use mine, but, you know, sometimes that happens. And shit, you know, shit happens. And I don't sweat the small stuff, so. And neither should you, because life is too short. <sighs> Checking for updates, and no, we're just downloading everything to make your phone secured, and you not be able to use it. Just a second. Okay, there we go. And then don't copy. <sighs> okay. Now, like I said, it may not ask you. It should ask you for a pin. If it don't, you know. Then type in your Google account information. You know, but we set the pet we set the pin code for one, two, three, four. And then drum roll. Bam, there it is. Look at that. Skip. And you're into the phone. You should know the rest, but I'm gonna take you all the way through it. You know, just for the haters. You're not a pure fraud, squan. Squan. Yeah, I can't even say my own name. Skip. We don't want to put a skein. A skein, a skein yeah. Okay. Adding the finishing touches. Yeah. Boom. And boom. There you go, folks. Another phone that has been successful. Whoop. I see that's a little dark. Oh, wrong way. Damn it. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Anyways, there we go. And I hope it, <laughs> don't call me a fraud because I didn't did uh, up the screen brightness. But anyways, there you go. Another phone successfully FRP unlocked. And you know what? I'm going to give you a free little tip here. If you have this phone, I don't know what it is about. They like to put the bloatware on here, but if you do it quickly. Hit settings and apps and notifications and see all apps. Hit the three little dots there, show system and find mobile services. G. Oops, let me see if G. H I J K L mobile services right there. That little culprit. Fucking force stop that fucker and disable it, and then it will not put any bloatware on your phone. That damn thing, I hate that damn thing. So there you go, folks. Anyways, enjoy. Keep on keeping on. Thank you. Come again. Unit and a flagrant phone X.